Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Jackie Denise, out here power walking on this Monday afternoon around lunchtime. And I suddenly had a thought. I had a thought and I needed to stop by the diving board. My thought for you all today is this. It's time to check in. Time to take off. Tail lat to get back. Yeah. You see, I got my aviator glasses on. Didn't really plan it like that, but it makes sense with the, the thought that I have been given to share today at lunchtime. It's time, y'all, it's time to take off. As I was getting dressed to work out, dreams started falling in front of me. I started thinking, what's up? Happy lunch hour to you guys. I started thinking about dreams, dreams coming true. It may have been because I was contemplating some of the dreams that I had earlier today. Good day, you all, good day. Because I'm a, I'm a crazy dreamer. I dream all night, every night, and I dream in living color, you guys. As I was preparing to get dressed for workout, dreams and women, dreams and women, dreams and women, it wouldn't leave me alone. Dreams and women. And then I began to think, I wonder how many women are seeing their dreams come true. Hey, how many women, how many beautiful, intelligent, brilliant, strong, powerful, gifted, anointed black women particularly are really seeing their dreams come true? It just hit me like a ton of bricks. So this is what I want to say. I was up until about 1 o'clock, 1.30 this morning, finishing up a book project that I have been a part of, a team that I've been a part of for some months now. And the deadline was like 12 midnight. I didn't quite make that, but God gave me grace. Glory to God, because I got so much going on. But he gave me grace for that. I want you to know today that there's grace for you. I know for sure that there are multiple divers who've been wanting to write a book. You've been dreaming about writing a book. You got titles of books written down in your journals. You've got some notes in your phone right now that you sent to yourself as you were sitting, waiting perhaps on your vehicle to be serviced and you began to jot down some ideas that came to you about writing a book. Well, I want to say to you, this to you all. Forbes magazine has an article and they discuss how many women's dreams don't come true <laughs> and the reasons why the dreams don't come true. Let me share three of the reasons if I can recollect properly. I'm outside in the park. I'm walking, getting my power walk on and this thought hit me so I decided to pull over to the bumper <laughs> and just speak to you guys for a little bit. The top three reasons that Forbes magazine says that women's dreams don't come true is number one, the lack of support. They feel like they don't have anybody to help them to make the dream come true. What's up, TJ, Tasha? They don't have enough, they don't have enough support to make the dreams come true. And so I want to say to you all today, I got you, boo. I got you. I've got support to help your book baby dream come true. The kickoff is tomorrow. I got my aviator shades on for a reason. I feel like I'm an, uh, an, an airline pilot. I feel like I'm a pilot, Nigel. I feel like I'm waiting for the plane to fill up with passengers, ready to take off, ready to leave the ground level and get up in the air with their book baby dreams. I feel like I'm in the pilot seat and I'm looking to see how many people are going to get on board because we got places to go. We got aerial views to go see. I want you to get with it. Sisters and brothers, ladies and gents, I want you to get with it. The number one reason people say their dreams don't come true, women especially, is because they don't have support. Well, I am support and I got you. I got a webinar that's kicking off tomorrow. 
Tuesday and repeating again with part two on Thursday. Won't be the same information. Part one kicks off tomorrow. My God, and you need to be in the place. You need to get registered. Listen, when you are planning to go on a trip and you have to get to the airport, guess what you do? You check in. If you're smart, you check in ahead of time. They send you a notification to your email and to your phone, Iris, that says it's time for you to check in now. Delta wants you to check in. U.S. Air wants you to check in. American Airlines is ready for you to check in how many bags you got. Hey, my God, I want to say to you all, I'm letting you know right now that it's about to go down tomorrow. I want you to get checked in. You got to register for the webinar on tomorrow. Don't let lack of support be one of the things that keeps your dreams from coming true. The second thing, hey there, Iris, the second thing that Forbes magazine says is the reason why women say their dreams don't come true is guess what? The lack of confidence. The lack of confidence. My webinar is entitled, Write It Right. I am going to help you boost your confidence about writing, your ability, your agility, the flow, the ebb of it. I am going to help boost your confidence. You know how the airplane taxis down the runway real, real slow until it gets to a certain point and only once it gets to a certain point can it begin to ascend. That's how the shot of confidence is going to be boosted to you during this writing process. The third reason that Forbes magazine says that women but they didn't say men. Brothers, I see y'all. But Forbes magazine was speaking to the women about the women and their dreams. And I'm doing the same right now. So y'all bear with me. The third reason why Forbes magazine says that women's dreams don't come true is because of the lack of money. The lack of finances. Hey, I didn't put a price tag on the webinar. The two-day webinar. I'm about to set, I'm about to light it up and set it off. I'm about to share. I'm about to impart. I'm about to, to just um, help make your journey easier than it would have been, that it has been. That's the reason why the books aren't done yet and on the shelves where they're supposed to be. Well, I'm going to take the tag, the price tag off of Tuesday and Thursday. It is absolutely free. You only have to check in. You only have to register. I need for you to get your ticket. You can't get on the airplane without a ticket, baby. Try it if you want to. Security! 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 We got a loose one over here. That's what they're going to say. Listen, I want your dreams to come true. I want you to obtain your goals. I want your visions to get out of your belly, out of your spirit. And I want them to get on the bookshelves. I want them to get out of your phone note section. I want them to get off of your lap note one on your laptop. I want the manuscript to come to life, to come together. I want you to be confident when you reach out to publishers. And I want them to say, well done. My God, when I submitted my manuscript to Destined to Publish and they assigned an editor to me, I was terrified. I was terrified, you guys. Listen, I was terrified. I didn't know what they were going to say. These professional people who literally publish hundreds of books every year. I see thousands of manuscripts. I didn't know what they were going to say, Coach TJ. I was scared. I'm, I can say it. Look, I tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God on the diving board. I was terrified they were going to say it was trash. I was scared they were going to say that it didn't, it, the bar, I didn't meet the bar. I was terrified that they were going to say, you know, you need to go back to the drawing board. I was terrified, but I knew, hallelujah, that I couldn't let this dream just keep ruminating on the inside of me. I knew the due diligence and the prayer and everything that I had put into it. So I hit the button when I felt I can't do no more. I can't go no more. I got to see. 
I got to see what the outcome is going to be. I got to see if I'm a, as good as I think I am. I got to see if I really got it in me. I got to see if I can cut the mustard. And when I took courage to take flight, get off the ground, take flight, take a risk on myself, bet on myself, my gifts, my skills, my talents, my abilities. I've been writing all my life. I've been speaking all my life. I've been teaching and coaching all my life. But I, I, I have published before, but I self-published it completely on my own. And so going to the professionals, that's another whole level in the ball game, okay? The airport got bigger. Glory to God. Well, this is what happened. This is what happened, you guys. They assigned me to an editor. That editor went over my stuff, through, took me through the process, all of that. When she was done, some time later, she sent me a, a file, a classified file. And guess what? When they sent me the classified file, ha! they let me know they sent it to me, but I couldn't access it because it, it was corrupt. It had gotten corrupted. It had blown up. It had blown up. I said, oh my God, this fit to be good. This fit to be good. The devil has blown up my stuff. He has blown up the results. He has blown up the report because he don't want me to get the information. He don't want me to get the revelation. He don't want me to, to spread and, and, and pull up the level on my airplane. But he can't stop it. I let the publishers know, y'all saying you sent me this file, but I don't have it. I don't have it. I can't. I don't have it. And they researched, and they were the ones who told me, oh, my God, Jackie, we are so sorry. The file was got corrupted. The file got destroyed in, 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 in uh, mid-flight. The file got shot down in the, in the air because the enemy didn't want it to hit the earth. But glory to God Almighty, they resent it to me. I was still scared to open it. It took me a couple of days to open it because I was that terrified. I didn't want to deal with no rejection. I'm just being real with y'all. I didn't want to deal with no rejection. I know the stats about manuscripts and publishers and all of that stuff. I didn't want to deal with rejection. I didn't want to get a blow to my self-esteem and my self-confidence. So I waited a little bit before I opened it up. But glory to God, on the third day, somebody put in the chat for me the third day. On the third day. When I got courage to rise up off of that runway, get in air, get in flight, and open up the file, it blew my mind away. They gave me their assessment. My my editor's name was Rose. She gave me her assessment. She 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 started off and she handled me very, very well. In a nutshell, so that I don't bore you. This editor who deals with manuscript after manuscript after manuscript from all over the world, all across the country, she told me that I was an amazingly gifted and talented writer. She told me that the words that she saw coming off my paper could only be partially representative of the larger than life colorful personality that I have. She told me that there was such a flow, that there was such an ebb. She told me that it was amazing. At the end of it, she told me, I certainly do hope that you will continue to write in the future days to come. She boosted my confidence up. And I said, good God Almighty, I jumped up like this. I started dancing around. I started doing the happy dance. I had my hands up in the air. I said, God, I knew I could do it. God, I knew it. I had it in me. I said, God, oh my God, I knew I was good. The enemy tried to make me think I couldn't cut it for the professional world, but I knew I could cut it. I said, thank you, Jesus. And then... Guess what I said? I did like this. Hey, I started wiping my shoulders off, lifting my chin up, and I said, you know what? I looked in the mirror. You know what, Jackie Denise? You better than you thought you were. That's what I want to help someone. The point I want to help someone get to. I want to help you get to the point where you say, when you look in the mirror and you look at your manuscript, I want you to say, dang, I am so much better than I thought I was. I knew I was good, but I didn't know I was that good. That's what I said when I read the editor's uh, letter to me assessing my work. Listen. 
I want to say to you all today, as I wrap up, Forbes magazine says that the three top reasons why women's dreams don't come true is number one, you got it, the lack of support, I'm going to be your support. Number two, the lack of uh, confidence, I'm going to boost your confidence. Number three, the lack of finances. I have not put a price tag on Tuesday and Thursday's webinar. The note says that it's free because I want to, I want to impart. I want to stir. I want to let you know what is possible for you. And I'm going to give you some, some, some stuff. I'm going to give you some stuff on how to make it be so. All right. Listen, I need for you, if you haven't already registered, I need you to register. It is from, uh, is it 11 to 12? I think it is. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, if I'm not mistaken, go to my page, check out the flyer. I want you to either scan the barcode, um, um, or or I want you to um, click the link. I want you to get in there. I want you to share it with somebody else. And I want you to encourage them to get in there too. Because we can do this together. We can do this together. And we can do it well. And we can do it right. And you're going to be so happy and glad that you connected with Jackie Denise. Hallelujah. Listen. I just wanted to encourage you all today. I want you to know you can make that time your lunch hour tomorrow. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. It's a matter of you opening up your mouth and asking, can I please take my lunch earlier? Would you be willing to switch your lunch time with me? Can I possibly do this? Listen, if you want something bad enough, my God, you'll take an hour vacation. You'll take the PT, some PTO time or whatever. I'm All I'm trying to say is I know it's possible if you want to get up in there. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, you want to be a part of this webinar. You want to be a part of it because it's going to bless your life. It's going to increase you. It's going to help you birth your book baby dreams into the atmosphere. At least it's going to be the start, okay? It's going to be start the start of some movement that is going to inspire further movement for you. Are you worth it? Are you worth it? Are you going to be a part a Forbes statistic that says that you're a woman whose dreams don't come true? Are you going to let yourself be a part of that statistic? Are you going to let yourself be one um, whose tombstone has a, a beginning date and an end date and a dash in the middle and all of your gifts, your dreams, your talents, your skills to be an amazing author, to be an impactful world changer through the words that you put on paper? Are you going to let them go to the grave and not be released into the atmosphere? I don't think you ought to do that. I think you ought to hook up with me. I think you ought to link up with me and let me help you get your book babies born. Hey, I can do that. I'm graced to do it and I'm skilled to do it. Hey, I'm not just depending on anointing. God has given me skill and ability and agility. He has given me knowledge and experience and know all and know how to do so and to do it right. That's the key word. Do it in integrity and do it right. Ah, this is what I came on to say. This is what I came on to say. Tell lack to get back. It's time for you to take off. It's time for you to take off. It's time for you to take off. Don't let lack of support get in your way. Don't let lack of money get in your way. Don't let lack of confidence get in your way. It is tell lack to get back. It's time for Janita to take off. It's time, my God, for Christy to take off. It's time for Elder Jean to take off. It is time for everybody in the replay to take off. Katie, it's time to take off. Teresa, it is time to take off. I stopped my workout out here in this hot sun because I felt a word from the Lord to let somebody know that you can do this. Coach TJ, you already have done it, girl. I've read your book. It is in my library right now. You know the process. You got to take off. Check in to the airport. Click the link. Get registered so you can get your access code. Listen, it's time to take off. I, I don't have on these aviator glasses for nothing. I am not trying to make a statement or whatever. Well, maybe I was when I bought them. But right now, I'm not trying to make a statement. What I'm trying to do is just be evidence to you all. Every pilot 
You are the pilot of your book, baby. You are the, you are going to lead it in the direction that you want it to go. Every pilot has some aviator glasses. At least they did in the Amy Earhart um, time frame, the first female pilot. Look, they would have that hat on. They would have on some similar glasses. Look, I'm ready. I'm the pilot. I'm ready to take off. And I'm ready to take some qualified passengers with me. I'm ready to get this thing started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it. I'm ready to get started. I'm excited because I know what's in me. Do you know what's in you? I said, I know what's in me. Do you know what's in you? Well, we need to bring this thing together and make some things happen because guess what? The world is waiting on your voice. The world is waiting on you to build and leave legacy through the words that will be penned on paper. The world is waiting. The publishers are waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They tired of getting those trashy manuscripts in. They're waiting for your stuff. And I'm going to help you make sure it's tight and help you make sure it's right. So listen, get signed up for the webinar. It kicks off tomorrow. One hour of power. Tuesday and Thursday. I'm telling you up front. That Tuesday and Thursday material, Tuesday and Thursday focuses will not be a repeat. They will not be a repeat. It will be a different vein of information sharing and impartation. So you really want to be a part. You can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can. So let's make it happen. This is your girl, Jackie Denise. I'm so excited and thankful and grateful that my gifts as an author, speaker, and a coach have made room for me. I'm so thankful and grateful that God has given my, my hand, taught my hands how to fight and my fingers to war, hands to war and my fingers to fight so that I can get this manuscripts, get all of the manuscripts that are still in my belly also because I got more stuff coming. Oh my God, through the pipes. I had to submit a project last night listen ah i just want you to get in there don't remain silent when you're supposed to speak writing is a form of speaking it's a lasting form of speaking that will be around when you have gone on um to glory in the sky i want you to do this i want to see you on the webinar i really want to see you i can't wait to connect with you i promise you you won't be disappointed just come open and don't come by yourself don't come alone. The party is better when you go with a friend. You know it's more um, comfortable, more, more, more better, more better, more better when you go with a friend. <laughs> I love y'all. Listen, I know you got to get back to work if that's what you're doing. If that's what you're doing and I need to finish my workout, you hear the traffic all around. I was out here power walking and I felt a need to pull over to the bumper, baby, and give you some good information. Listen, don't disappoint yourself. Notice I didn't say don't disappoint me. I'm good. I didn't say don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint yourself. Don't sleep on this um, no cost opportunity. This is a no cost opportunity for you to, you know, get your wheels turning. I want to help you do that. We got, it's time to take off. It's time to take off. These books been sitting on the runway, sitting on the runway, sitting on the runway for I don't know how long. Some books have been taxiing. They'll taxi down the runway a little bit and then they'll stop. They'll taxi a little bit more and then they'll stop. They'll taxi a little bit more and then they'll stop. Just when you get ready to get off the ground and get um, lifted, something will happen. Something will happen and it'll hold you up again and you find yourself still grounded. Listen. We, 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 we cutting through all of that. We're cutting through all of that. I am the support. I am the help. We're going to cut through all of that. It is time for aerial views. So let's get in there. Get your ticket. It's time to check into the airport. Check into Jack and Denise airport. It's time to check into the airport. I need you to get registered. <laughs> and I'll see you on the webinar tomorrow. Share the broadcast for me if you don't mind. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast for me. Linda, good to see you. Listen, are y'all coming tomorrow? Estelle, good to see you. I'm checking to see who's on the diving board. Y'all coming tomorrow? Alicia, you coming tomorrow? Crystal Light Bright, you coming tomorrow? Are y'all getting registered? Do y'all plan to show up after you register? I want y'all to show up. And I'm telling you right now, I wish I could tell it all, but I can't tell it all. I wish I could tell it all, but I can't tell it all. I really, really wish I could tell it all, but I can't tell it all. Oh my God, I, Lord, mm, don't do it, 
Jackie Denise, don't do it. Don't spoil the surprise. Don't be a spoiler alert. I wish I could tell it all, the benefits and the blessings of this, but I can't tell it all right now. I wish I could. And I'm not trying to puff you up with hyperbole, but I'm telling you right now, there's some benefits and some, and some blessings in connecting with me. Listen, I can't tell it all. I wish I could. It's trying to come out to you, but I can't let it out. But there are some specific benefits and blessings that are attached to connecting with Coach Jackie Denise. All I know is it's an OMG. But first, you got to show that you're serious. You got to show that you're ready, that you're willing. First, you got to show. And after you all show, then I can tell what I'm trying my loving best not to tell now. <laughs> it's called benefit and blessing. That's all I can say. I'm so glad. I'm going to click off with this. I'm so glad. I'm standing here. I'm humble. I feel the presence of the Lord out here in nature while I get my vitamin D and get some exercise for this body. I feel so humble and grateful that God has not only gifted me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. God has not only gifted me as a writer. He has not only gifted me as an editor. He has not only gifted me as a, a book writing coach, but God has also decided, chosen me to attach some benefits and some blessings to my life that are for the purpose of being paid forward to those who understand and see the benefit and the blessing, hallelujah, that they can reap as a result of connecting with me. That sounds like I'm kind of going around the mountain and I am. It's because I'm trying not to tell it all. I can't tell it right now today, but I can tell it in just a little bit but I can't tell it all, but I'm trying to give you an indication of something coming. I'm trying to give you an indication of a benefit and a blessing that is attached to this amazing opportunity, this lifeline that I have let down for you guys. Now, hallelujah, according to your faith, be it unto you. If you believe in your dreams, if you want to make your dreams come true, if you want to stay off Forbes list, Forbes list, of being one of the women whose dreams don't come true. If you want to overcome lack of support, feeling lack of support, feeling lack of confidence, feeling as though you have lack of finance, lack of money, lack of income, lack of coins in order to do what you need to do. Tell lack to get back. Tell lack to get back. Where there is vision, there is provision. That's the word of God. He's waiting for you to tell Lack to get back. It's time for me to take off. Let's do that and see what God does next. God bless you. Y'all share the broadcast for me. And thank you for diving. Have a good one. Bye.